Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to take one of these, which is a audio cassette tape, and transfer it from your stereo to your computer, then that way you can put it onto a CD, your MP3 player, or whatever you need. Um, you need a few things in order to do this. First thing you need, obviously, is a cassette tape. Second thing you need is a stereo. Now, I think, obviously, using a small, portable tape deck player would be easier than using something like this. This is all I have. Luckily for me, the stereo is pretty close to my computer, so it hooks up pretty easily. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is hook the stereo up to the computer. And to do this, you need a cable. Now, there's two ways of doing this that I know of. And depending on which way you're going to go will determine which cable you're going to use. First way is you can go through the headphone jack of your stereo. And you will need one of these cables. It's a 3.5 millimeter, both ends. This will plug into the headphone jack on your stereo and then go into the input jack on the back of your computer. Now the way I like to do it, this is my preferred method, I would use one of these cables. It's a Y cable. It's got the red and white ends and it's got the 3.5 millimeter end. And these two ends will go into the outputs on the back of my stereo and then this again will go into the input on the back of the computer. Now let's take a closer look at how these are set up. Okay so now we're looking at the back of my stereo. This is actually the cassette component. My stereo is made up of three components, the turner, the CD player, and the cassette deck player. Now I'm going to take my Y cable, and as you can see here, it says out. That's where we want to plug these into, the white and red. So let's plug those in. Now those are plugged in, so now we need to plug the other end, the 3.5 millimeter end, into the back of the computer. Okay, so now we're looking at the back of my computer, the tower, and this right here, the blue one, it's kind of blurry to see, but it says in. We want to take the other end of our Y cable, the 3.5 millimeter end, and plug that into there. Now that we've hooked up our stereo to our computer, now we need to actually record the audio that's going to be coming from the tape deck. Now, I like to use a program called Audacity. It's free. I'll put a link down in the description if you want to check it out. But that's the program I use, and now I'll show you how to use that. Okay, what we're looking at here is a program called Audacity. This is what we're going to use to record the audio coming from the stereo. And now that we have the stereo hooked up to the computer, that's pretty much the hard part. And by the way, this program is free, like I said before. I will put a link down below so you can check it out. I use it all the time. It's pretty cool. It's easy to use. So the first thing you're going to want to do up here, this red button, is the record button. So I will press this and push play on the cassette deck and I will record 10-15 seconds of audio. Okay, so now we have the audio recorded, and what you can do is go up here, press this to play, make sure it recorded. And as we can see, it recorded. So now it's just a matter of saving it. So go up to File, Export. And here, you just name it whatever you want. I will name this Sample Audio. Make sure it's save type MP3. Save. And this, you can fill this out if you want to, artist name, track title. I don't never do that. When you're done, just click OK. And there you go, it's done. And now that we have this saved, you can put this onto a CD, put onto your MP3 player, or whatever you want. So there you have it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll have more to come. Thanks a lot. See you.